What's shaking, Chewy Nation? Chewbacca, let me hear back with another Madden 19 video today. We're going to talk about a bunch of filters. You guys seem to like it the last time I did that, which is awesome. So thank you so much. If you do like this, a nice like would be appreciated. It really does help the channel. We're going to talk about a ton of filters, filters that are currently working, no matter what your coin stack, that will help you hopefully build a coin stack even bigger than mine. You see, we're just at a million uh, and we just did a Cam Newton power-up, which cost obviously a lot. We did a Dylan Cole power-up, which was insane how much that cost. We've, we've added some players. Really, Cam Newton, though, he's the star of the show with this power-up being... It's going to be good. It's going to be good once I get it completely finished with the conductor and then also play fake. There we go. The 85 throw because he made I think he's going to be, if not the best quarterback in the game, he's going to be right there. Uh, so I'm really excited to use him. Uh, so there's the offense. The defense looking pretty good as well. So this Dylan Cole, man, costs so much. Do my all Texans. Get all my Texans on my team. It costs a lot. So that's the team. I think it's a little above average. I think weekend league, it seems like I always face better teams, but I do think it probably is a little above average. So that's the team that I put together with a million coins. So I think it's pretty good. I haven't sniped as much this year as I have in the past, but still, I think pretty solid. So let's go ahead and and jump into the filters first one super easy so i'll just mention it i don't think i mentioned this in the last video but power-ups if you want to snipe power-ups really the only way that i see it is by specific teams namely the chiefs <laughs> uh, or maybe the steelers because they have antonio brown it may just depend also if they drop new cards like they added justin houston so this justin houston you know it goes for a couple thousand so you know, maybe you'll see some up for like a thousand or under. So if you're on a really low coin stack, power ups are pretty good. You can make a, a you know, 500 to a thousand coins on a lot of cards, and you may just see a Tyreek Hill pop up, which would be pretty cool, or an Antonio Brown if you're doing Steelers, or an Anthony Barr if you're doing Vikings. Use Mutthead to see what the most expensive power ups are at the time, and then pick your team based on that. But power ups overall are pretty good. You could also try some positions, but most of them are gonna not work. Like, so if I do like wide receiver, it's not good. If I do it by newest, you're going to see that we're not seeing 59 minutes. So you're not seeing the newest cards. You can't put a card up for 46 minutes. So that's not good. Uh, we, need to, we need to condense this a little bit. So there's not much you can do there, except really, I think you're going to have to go by team. So not much we can do there, uh, but power-ups are indeed pretty good. So that's not bad. That's, that's all right. You know, if you're low on coins, power-ups, a lot of people like sniping those, still pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and now jump to elites. I'm not going to snipe golds, but I will say the same thing when I do the elites. If you want to see what they go for, 75 to 79s look to be about 35 to 4,000 coins. So that's a good, you know, a good measuring stick. Now, some of them go for more, of course, like the higher overalls. Like, you don't see any 79s here. They go for more. But at least gives you an idea, you know, where you're like, okay, if I see a 75 up for 2,000 coins, I know that's a buy. Because the minimum is 3,500. There's no way. If I see a 79 up for 3,000, 3,500, I know it's a buy. Because of training purposes, these cars go for, you know, a minimum amount. You see that one sell. And just to show you, I bet it's not even the cheapest one. Sold for 3,500. Let's see. I'm actually kind of curious. See? People don't know how the auction house works. 2,900, 3,100 right there. Uh, is there 3,300, 3,400? But they see it and they're like, oh, that must be the cheapest one. So they go ahead and buy it. It's not. It's definitely not. Uh, so take advantage of that. But golds, they're good. I would recommend you go by teams. It's not really my forte, so I'm not going to go with that. But still pretty good. 80 to 80 ones. So we're going to start here and we're going to work our way up. We're going to show some filters with each one and why they work. 881s, the minimum it looks like they go for is about 12,000. All you have to do is simply go 8081, buy now. Super easy, that's it. 12,000, that's what they go for. Same thing you do with golds or power, well, not really power ups because they go for you know all kinds of different prices, but golds, elites, we know minimum they go for 12,000. They go into an elite token set. So they're not gonna, they're pretty much all will go for at least 12. Some will sell for more. Minimum though, 12. So how can we get a good filter? So first, if I sort by newest, you're going to know 14 minutes. We're not seeing the newest cards. We need to see the newest cards. Easiest way to do it is go through positions. Quarterback, super good. We don't see a snipe there. I mean, you could buy the Kirk Cousins at 10 and sell for 12. That's 800 coins. Like, it's not something to sneeze at. 800 coins is still a lot of coins. Uh, but I'm going to try to, you know, maybe get something a little bigger. Quarterback, running back, wide receiver is good. Uh, you go corner. 
all these positions. Most of them work pretty well, but I really like those. Quarterback, running back, wide receiver. I think middle linebacker is pretty good as well. Middle linebacker, because they got Dylan Cole in there, which is a really good card to snipe. Corner. And you can just kind of mess around. Maybe you'll find some other positions that work well. Tight ends, not great. But again, you know, that's we're still talking 800 coins about there for Vernon Davis. So it's not like nothing. You see his sell there. So it's not nothing. So that, that that's not bad, right? So 8081s, if you're maybe, you know, have like 30, 40,000 coins, you can snipe a handful of them, three, four, five, depending on what price you get them for, sell them, go into, you know, put them up for 12 at this point, put them up for 12, go on over to play solo challenges, play weekend league, play, you know, just head to head, draft champions, whatever you like to do, come back. They'll all probably be sold by the time you get done with your game. Rinse and repeat until you get more, and then we can work our way up to higher overalls. But the good thing is, this filter is still really good no matter how many coins you have because there's so many cards that get posted for 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 coins, and they sell for 12,000, so it's still good even if you have a lot of coins. 80 to 81, super, super good. 82 to 83. Again, we're going to sort by buy now to see what prices we want to sell them for. It looks to be about 19,000. Now, there is a little bit of caveat with this. It is 19,000 minimum. That's good. Legends sell for like 30,000 right now. If I just let's just sort it by legends just to show you. And this may not be a bad idea to do filtering wise as well. They sell for 275, 28,000. Now, think the reason this is is because they added that set. You add in these legends and you get a tier what version 4, version 5 legend if you put in like what five of them. So they all kind of go for about 30000 So when you're sniping 82 to 83s, remember, you need to know this price if you want to really make a lot of profit. Or just snipe Legends if you want. So I don't think this is probably a good filter. 54 minutes, you could just do all offense, all defense, whatever you want to do. And they go minimum for, what, 28000 So that's pretty good. I would say that's a pretty good way to snipe just Legends. And overall, I think you're going to have a lot of success doing legends if that's something that you want to do um that's definitely definitely good or or if you don't want to snipe legends so legends are like yeah i'm not really hitting anything you could just know okay legends sell for 28 other cars sell for 19 that's it those are the two prices you need to know 19 and 28 i found that out just now just in front of your very own eyes i figured that out so now as we go through positions we know those two prices so 19 10% tax is going to be about 17, 17, 1. 28, 10% tax, take off 28 of that, 2,800, and you're at 25, 2. So those are the prices you're kind of looking at when you're, when you're looking for these. So remember 10% tax, but after you take that 10% tax, see if we can make a profit. So just go through positions. I really like the, the skill positions again, quarterback, running back, wide receiver, corner. You know, you can try some other ones as well. But those are the ones I like, and you could try ends if you want. Really just depends on, you know, what cards get released, you know, what legends get released might flood the auction house. It really will depend, but you can kind of go through the positions and find ones that you really like. I personally, quarterback, running back, wide receiver, corner are my go-to generally, but I think it's, it's pretty good. So that's it. You know, that's all there is to it. So you're looking for, what, 19000 is the selling price for, you know, regular core elites and then legends sell for about 28 and i just figured that out right now it's super good legends good core elites really good you go through the positions and you'll find some good good luck good success so now let's go ahead and venture on over to 84 to 85 so 84 to 85 again we're going to sort by buy now just to figure out our price look to be about 30 31 ish so about thirty-one thousand minimum take 10 percent off well, about 28, just under 28, 27.9. So we're at 27.9 after the 10% tax. So you can roughly just say it's going to be about 28. So anything under 28 is going to be profit, but you may not want to buy it for 27, 750. You really want to make 100 coins, 150 coins? Not really. You want to make some more. So maybe you'll say, I'll buy anything for 26 and under. 26 and under, minimum. I'll buy anything for 27 and under, 25 and under, whatever price you want to set. That's up to you. I'm going to say like 26 and under is a pretty good idea. So anything 26 and under. So you're saying you could you could go by buy now and just go through positions. Pretty good. 
I usually like to do newest. The reason I like newest is because there are some cards that do go for more, like Brandon Brooks or your, your veteran cards. Some of them go for a lot more. So I usually don't do it by buy now, but if you're like a buy now, you just like something easy, this is this is easy. You can just go like quarterback, running back, wide receiver. I guess the middle linebacker I don't think is great here, but go through. You know you can sell everything for 31, which is 10, about 28 after the 10% tax. So like here, you could buy that and make a few hundred coins if you're really feeling feeling it, but I, I personally would not recommend it. Um, I don't really care for the linebacker core. Quarterback, running back, wide receiver. And the same thing applies to the Legends. Legends, super good to snipe. You could do Legends. Uh, you could mess around with all offense, all defense. You could really just kind of make the filter your own. But make sure when you're sorting it, so I'm just going to switch to newest, make sure you're seeing 59 minutes or 7 hours, you know, or like make sure you're seeing the newest cards. If you're not seeing the newest cards, like if I take this off, if you're not seeing the newest cards, it's not a good filter. This is not good. This is not the newest cards. So we need to make sure we're seeing the newest. Uh, you can mess around with legends, core elites, you know, in the program, you can do that. Obviously, position's really good. Super good. That's good. Now, let's keep going. 86 to 87. So 86 to 87, you're seeing 34 minutes. Now, this one's a little different. So there's not as many. So then it comes down to kind of, you got to be a little more unique when you get here. You can't really do, uh, sometimes you can, but if I go like all offense, we're going to see it's not going to be 59, 52. You can go all, all defense and 56. So it's almost, and if you throw a letter in, you're like, well, that could be a good idea. We see nothing because for whatever reason, all offense, all defense doesn't allow you to put a letter in. So overall, we're kind of stuck here. I There's a few things you could do. You could simply not, well, you're not going to probably want to do all offense, all defense, but if you did, there's not like there's a bat. If you did all offense, you could go like cap value, 31 to 40. You could mess around with cap value. There we go. We're seeing 59. That's not bad. We see an 86. I think that actually is a buy. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Okay, we didn't actually get it. Dang it. That, that would have been, I mean, it was only a few thousand coins, but still, I should have bought. Uh, 31 to 40. 41 to 50, not great, but you can mess around with the cat value and get that 59, or, or you could still do positions, still on the table. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. There's just not as many cards. So like, if you do like a wide receiver, that might be okay. It's okay. It's just not enough cards generally. Uh, you do quarterback, running back, you know. But there's just not that many cards being posted. What I would recommend. This is my recommendation. I personally would do something like the cap value or just take this off completely and go, what's the most popular cap value? Probably 21 to 30, 59 minutes. So that's not bad. Just that right there. That's a pretty good, uh, we could try 31 to 40, 45. And then, and then, so we're getting kind of tricky here. We can mess around with this and we can put like the letter, I don't know. Let's just try I. That's probably not going to work. We want to make sure we see 59. Wow, that actually worked. Look at all those. 59, 59, 50. <laughs> like, that's really good. Uh, let's look at the time remaining just to see how close we are. 50, okay, so that's right on the edge. Right on the edge. Let's try something else. Let's try the letter O. One hour. So that one's barely good. Again, we're seeing stuff over 59 minutes. So you can simply just do this filter and just do newest. And just keep, all you have to do is go over here to program and just double click. Just double click, double click, and it will keep popping up whenever there's a new card posted for an hour, you know, up for an hour that fits 86 to 87, cap value 31 to 40, and if it has a letter O in their name somewhere, that works. That really, you have to be creative. I'm not saying letter O is the best. It depends. Like right now, we're right on the edge. Uh, you might find that you don't even need a letter sometimes if there's not that many people on. You might find that the letter C works better. Uh, seven hours okay it's not terrible it really just comes down to what you just got to kind of maneuver it and try to find a really good letter or letters that work for you you don't have to stick on one letter you go in between letters the letter d you could you know try other letters as well uh if you want to if you want to snipe 86 to 87s again these are going for a lot more so the high hit potential we're getting to a point we have a much higher hit potential but you have you know, like the odds of hitting something are much lower. So you have to balance that, you know, however you want to snipe is, is up to you. 
Um, and then, then okay, so 86 to 87, there's not much to do there. 88 to 89, there's really not much to talk about here, but there kind of is. You can go all offense, all defense. You can go, I wouldn't really recommend positions because there's not enough. You can either, you can throw a letter in here. You can throw in the letter, you know, let's just say I. That should get us to 59. One hour. Is that a good deal? No. That would have been great if that was a good, because I got like the perfect refresh there. You could mess around with letters. You could mess around with cat value. You could mess around with maybe taking off the legends, you know, just doing core leads or just doing the legends, but I don't think there's probably enough legends, but we'll see. It is actually not bad. Uh, so let's see how many legends are actually here. The 20, okay, so it, you're pretty, you're getting all the legends that are posted, but it's not bad. You can just try to snipe 88 to 89 legends. There's so much stuff you could do with it, and it really, I don't want to go into, you know, tell you everything, because obviously I want you guys to find your own filters as well, but you have so many options with this one, but there's really not any, like, best option. If I had to guess what the very best option is, it's probably 88 to 89, or to say the letter I, not say this is the best letter. Wow, another one hour. I got, like, a perfect refresh. And just simply going over here and just double clicking and hoping something pops up. That's basically what I would say is the best. Um, get, I, I don't even know these prices that well, so if I miss a snipe, you know, that's my bad. But I don't know them, so I'm going to say they're not good deals. I hope I would know. If you're doing this filter, you, you know, you obviously got to know your prices or at least have a good idea when you see a price. That's a buy. So 88 to 89. As you get higher in overalls, the more you need to know your prices. There's a lot more stuff moving around, a lot of moving parts. But if you get good at it and you start doing it a lot, you're probably, you know, you're going to find some snipes for sure. Uh, and then 9091, uh, there's really not much. You see 59, there's really not much to talk about there. As long as you're seeing 59 minutes. If you're not, you could do all offense, all defense. Uh, 92, 93, there's just not much there. Um, there's just not much there. So what I would recommend... That's what I would recommend. So there's a few filters I want to I wanna just discuss on what I've been doing, or and especially on these higher overall cards. I would not recommend, because there's just not that many 92, 93s, uh, 92s, there's no 93s. Uh, I would not recommend just sitting on this filter. Now, I'm not saying you can't get a snipe. You see, I'm not saying that. Like, obviously you can. Like, they're going to pop up like occasionally. But not only do you have to be on the filter, you have to get a perfect refresh because they're super competitive. And then you have to get, you also, no one else get a perfect refresh. You can't make a mistake when you're going to snipe it. There's so many things that have to go right when you're sniping these that you're probably, you know, the odds of hitting it is very low. I'm not saying you can probably, if you stay on this all year, you're probably, you're going to hit a few snipes, of course. But it's just, I personally don't think that's a good idea. So what I would recommend is kind of focusing your, your mind, you know, your, like kind of on a, one player, or a couple players that you want to snipe. So say a card, you know, you're like, Let's just say I was gonna go after Xavier Rose. Okay, yeah, sure. All right, so Xavier Rose here. Obviously, it looks like he's worth about six fifty because there's a bunch up for that price. So he's probably gonna sell for about six fifty. So instead of just simply sitting on his filter and hoping for a Xavier Rose filter, I mean for a snipe, I would go Team Vikings and just switch this to a whoops, not ninety six ninety seven. That's that's not what I meant to do. Uh, switch it to Elite. And now, at least, you have other options to snipe. Yes, you might snipe a Xavier Rose, but you could also snipe a Daniil Hunter. You know that those sell for 19k if you were paying attention earlier, or you can do that yourself. You know that 84s, 85s sell for a minimum of 31k. So you have those there, obviously. Vikings are obviously are very good. You have a, a Core Elite Xavier Rose to snipe. You have a Harrison Smith to snipe. You have Randy Mosses in here. Kirk Cousins for the cheaper ones. You know they sell for 12 so you have all this stuff that you could just simply sit on this filter. If you're really trying to just hit a Xavier Rose, I would try something like this as opposed to just sitting on 92, 93. You're going to get bored. You're going to stop. I'm not saying it. <laughs> that would have been crazy. I'm not saying you're going to hit a Xavier Rose, but I'm going to say you probably are going to hit other things, and maybe, just maybe you'll hit a Xavier Rose, perhaps. You can do this with any teams. I just wouldn't recommend sitting on a high filter like that. Um, when you could, you know, you could hit a Randy Moss on this filter. You could hit, a, obviously, a, a Xavier Rhodes. You could hit uh, Anthony Barr is a really good snipe. There's so many cards that you could hit uh, right here. So I, I don't think it's a terrible idea uh, to sit on this, uh, something like this. Or, you know, if you're not seeing 59 minutes, just simply switch it to all defense um, and just sit on this filter and just keep on double-clicking and just letting it keep refreshing 
if you really are really, really, really passionate, you know, like, I'm going to hit that Xavier Rhodes snipe. This is the way I would do it. That's how I would do it. That's my personal opinion, of course. And then lastly, lastly, I want to talk about a filter or filters sort of that I've been using uh, myself uh, to, to snipe. So basically, Elite, going through position, has high just like the team by team, we just saw Vikings, you have very high hit potential and low hit potential, so, and stuff in between. So I really like that. I like the ability to hit some really big, but not, you know, also being able to keep going, keep hitting some snipes, you know, the low stuff as well helps keep you motivated and also will add up over the course of time. So elite team by, uh, elite position by position, I really like. Also team by team is pretty good, but elite position by position is really good, uh, and you just go through the positions. Now, one thing, Obviously, some of these positions, you don't see 59 minutes. Quarterback, I don't think running back. I think running back, uh, what it, um, maybe like wide receiver sometimes works. I thought maybe running back, but maybe not anymore. They don't even look like they're close. But positions that usually do work are like tight end. So let's see if it actually does work. Tight end. Going through these positions, because the good thing about these are they have the high hit potential, but they also have that low hit potential, and you really don't have to memorize that many numbers. Like, you have to remember, I know maybe it, it is a lot, you could write them down, but you gotta know what 80 to 81 sell for at a minimum, 82 to 83s, and 84 to 85s. 80 to 81s, we said 12, 82 to 83s, 19, 84 to 85s sell for now 31, and legends sell for about 28. That's at a minimum. Those are the, so four numbers you gotta remember, and, and maybe you write those down, maybe you can remember them. Um, but now, when you snipe, you have those, that will be the majority of your snipes are those four numbers right there. So I feel like that's not too bad. Uh, maybe, uh, if it is, I mean, again, this, maybe this is too high of a skill gap, but that's why I put it at the end of the video. Uh, so maybe it will, you know, it won't, like, discourage you uh, if you're trying to get into sniping. This is more, obviously, something if you've been sniping for a while, or you just, really, you've got to remember four prices. And then you'll get better at it as you go. Um, now, other positions, offensive line works well, tight end. The defense, a lot of times they will work, but right now we're at a high peak time. There's a lot of people on 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, so we're not seeing 59 minutes. If you're sniping in the morning, we see defense tackle work. When there's just not as many people on, you may find success, really good success, on these right here going through the defense. Right now it looks pretty solid. I mean, there's some of these that work really well. You see all these 59 minutes? Like, that's good. That's a really good filter. This right here is super good just sitting on this. Um, again, could buy that. Not going to make much. What, 600 coins at 19,000? 10% tax. But I, I really do think that position by position, middle linebacker is no good. As long as you're staying 59 minutes, you're good. Of course, you could mess around with putting letters in here as well. I'll leave that up for you to decide, you know, what you want to do. Um, you know, if you want to go, like, quarterback, elite, get really weird and go quarterback, elite, letter, I'll try I again. It seems like it's my go-to I. Let's see if we get 59, 59, 59, 59. You want to get weird? There you go. And just stick on this filter. And now, you know, you can hit any quarterback elite as long as you have the letter I in it. Maybe a Michael Vick. Maybe an Eli Manning. Maybe just a Jimmy G that you can keep stockpiling and making a bunch of coins that way. But there are so many filters out there. And I do want to continue to do this uh, throughout, you know, throughout the season. You know, at least once or twice a week to show you guys, you know, things that are changing with the filters and just filters that are going to that work because obviously as the year goes on these will gonna these are gonna change uh, but overall the methods still work very well if this is overwhelming again these prices it's just too much going on it's just not an you know it's just like I can't keep track I do have a twitch sub only pricing guide that I do update every single day if you have Amazon Prime a family member link it with twitch you get one free sub per month if not it's five dollars I know I don't Sorry, but that is uh, something I give for uh, Twitch subs. Uh, exactly what I did in this video, but it's just updated every day. So uh, thank you guys so much uh, for watching. You guys are absolutely incredible. A like would be appreciated. That's all I got. Chewbacca Lemma, out.